Feel like Gucci Mane dropping all those artists. Gucci Mane got some good pussy. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Gucci Mane got some good pussy. Okay. Uh, can you explain that a little bit more? I'm saying, if it was Gucci Man and he had the bussy, it was good. This message is for Gucci Man, one of my all-time favorite rappers. I just wanted to sincerely apologize to you for Brick Baby's remarks, the bussy thing and whatnot. Um, I feel like this is partially my fault because by bringing him onto the podcast, I feel like I kind of opened the door for this sort of white boy humor to be leaving his mouth and... Uh, I just don't want to be part of the problem. So as a result, I will be uh, forcing Brick Baby to take a leave of absence. I'm going to be sending him to a, um, a rehab facility in which they'll be doing some sort of electroshock, anti-gay therapy on him. Uh, I just don't want to risk another episode that offends Big Goo Wop. So uh, yeah, that's going to be happening. You probably won't see Brick Baby on the channel for a while. But uh, from two wop to Goo Wop, just know, I'm on it. I got this handled. 1017 forever. What's going on, YouTube gang? It's your boy FYB Mark coming back at you with another video. And today we're gonna to be speaking on the situation on Adam 22 and Brick Baby because I ain't gonna to lie to you. I don't know if y'all remember, you know, the little thing on Brick Baby having his interview with I think it was Cam Capone, but Brick Baby had made a little statement about, about Gucci Man dropping all those artists. Gucci man got some good pussy. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Gucci man got some good pussy. Okay. Uh, can you explain that a little bit more? I'm saying if it was Gucci man and he had the pussy, it was good. Made about Gucci man, bro. That was a little, hmm, a little, hmm, a little, phew. You know what that, phew. Skittles, one of those things, bro. And uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, you know, this is something that you shouldn't be saying, bro. First of all, second of all, Gucci man, bro. That man got a bad, uh, overly bad wife, bro. What is you talking about right now? So I was just like, bro, you on your own saying all this, G. But I ain't gonna lie to you. It seemed like Adam had, you know, a few little things to say. Or I don't know if he had, like, a conversation with Gucci Man or whatnot. But it seemed like he had something to say about Brick Baby and the whole thing of what Brick Baby had said in his statement, bro, in his interview. And it looked like Brick Baby just got, you know, terminated from No Jumper a little bit. This message is for Gucci Mane, one of my all-time favorite rappers. I just wanted to sincerely apologize to you for Brick Baby's remarks, the bussy thing and whatnot. Um, I feel like this is partially my fault because by bringing him onto the podcast, I feel like I kind of opened the door for this sort of white boy humor to be leaving his mouth. And uh, I just don't want to be part of the problem. So as a result, I will be uh, forcing Brick Baby to take a leave of absence. I'm going to be sending him to a, um, a rehab facility in which they'll be doing some sort of electroshock, anti-gay therapy on him. Uh, I just don't want to risk another episode that offends Big Goo Wop. So uh, yeah, that's going to be happening. You probably won't see Brick Baby on the channel for a while. But uh, from Two Wop to Goo Wop, just know I'm on it. I got this handled. 1017 forever. A little bit, bro. You know, I don't know if he fired. I don't know if he just suspended from no jumper, but Adam 22 said he, you know, let Brick Baby go for a little minute, you know, because of the whole statement that he just made on Gucci Mane that, you know, it's just not a bad look. He said he, his energy is rubbing off on Brick Baby, bro. He said his little white boy antics, his white boy energy is rubbing off on Brick Baby. And honestly, yes, it is, bro. And I'm going to be honest, even with yourself, Adam22, like, it's, boy, it shouldn't be like that. Like, why are you even acting like this, bro, on the real? Like, you got a whole daughter. So, on the real, sometimes people got to sit here and think about what they're doing out here on the internet before they even 
get to where they at, bro, on the real, because you are a face out here, G, and there's a lot of people looking at you, so once you make a statement like this, G, you gotta be mindful of what the hell you just said, because now you're in the hot seat, G, and it don't look good, because Adam talking about he got he gonna have to let you go from no jumper for a little minute. He talk about he's sending you to rehab. I don't, boy, Adam, knock it off. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. When Adam said he was sending Brick Baby to rehab, I felt like this was a little bit more it was even of a troll statement, to be honest. But I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. But all I all I know is what Adam just said about the Brick Baby statement. He's letting Brick Baby go for a little minute. He's going to send Brick Baby to rehab. And hopefully Brick Baby, you know, get his mind right and come back to you no know, jumping, you know. He on Brick Baby time, bro. We need the old Brick Baby back, not this new Brick Baby. I don't know what's going on, G. Oh, too much Adam is rubbing off on you, G. You need to come back to reality yourself, G, on the real. But this is just my opinion. But it's your boy, FYB Mar, man. I'm just giving y'all my thoughts in this situation. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bells on, and I'm out. Feel like Gucci Man dropping all those artists. Gucci Man got some good pussy. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Gucci Man got some good pussy. Okay. Uh, can you explain that a little bit more? I'm saying, if it was Gucci, man, and he had a bussy, it was good. This message is for Gucci Mane, one of my all-time favorite rappers. I just wanted to sincerely apologize to you for Brick Baby's remarks, the bussy thing and whatnot. Um, I feel like this is partially my fault because by bringing him onto the podcast, I feel like I kind of opened the door for this sort of white boy humor to be leaving his mouth and... Uh, I just don't want to be part of the problem. So as a result, I will be uh, forcing Brick Baby to take a leave of absence. I'm going to be sending him to a, um, a rehab facility in which they'll be doing some sort of electroshock, anti-gay therapy on him. Uh, I just don't want to risk another episode that offends Big Goo Wop. So uh, yeah, that's going to be happening. You probably won't see Brick Baby on the channel for a while. But uh, from Two Wop to Goo Wop, just know, I'm on it. I got this handled. 1017 forever.